right, guys, I am going to be using um, a palette of paint that I've been using today, just because I want you to see where I used around the, the paint, where I came up next to the paint, where I changed colors with the paint. So I make, that's why I make sure I tap it like this to spread the paint. And I'm gonna put some fresh white so that I can show you that when I put that white, if I tap it, see how it spreads out. Now it's important that you watch this whole practice stroke because I'm gonna show you some things that are gonna make a difference in how you're painting, all right? So, and it's all about the loading process. Now I'm going to take a dampened brush, lay it on the paper towel, and I'm gonna pick up blue, cobalt blue on one side. Now, if you had the white next to you and you could reach it, you could just go back and forth. Let me show you this. Or say we're going back and forth. We're not dip, dipping like I used to do and then working it in. We are dipping one maybe and then side loading the second. Or if you're able in your double loader or in your plate, being able to put them next to each other so you can pull the paint. The double loader, let me show you, really makes your life easier. Um, if you're new learning to paint, sorry. Um, and using, this is gonna put the paints next to each other. So it makes it easier for you to pick up and blend. And I've shown you that lots of times. So I just wanna work on this and show you this part. So I am then keeping the white on the outside edge and I'm getting the white all the way Light, here's white, medium blue, light, light blue, medium blue, and cobalt, okay? And we're putting wet on wet going next to each other, okay? But normally what you're going to do is pick up paint each stroke, and we're on art paper right now. And this is 184 uh, pound paper, so it doesn't wrinkle. And if you're painting a project on this, it's kind of fun. See how I'm picking up each time. Now, I don't need to dip blue again because I have quite a bit of blue. And because I'm doing single strokes, I also don't need medium right now. So this, this whole um, teaching process here is to give you a better idea what side stroking is. So as you side stroke wet on wet, we're gonna come up here and do a second stroke, maybe even a third stroke before you go get more paint. But normally, just to let you know, we pick up paint every stroke. So then I come right in here. Okay. Come right here, pick up more white. And now I'm concentrating on the white. See, wet on wet. You don't have to let it dry, it makes people nervous. But because our paint, this is folk art, multi-surface paint, and because it's nice and thick, you don't get muddy, all right? If you add water, you get muddy. We're not adding water. We wet our brush, dry it on a paper towel, and then we start loading. And if we use medium, we're picking up slight medium as we're loading. And I'll show you that in a minute. All right. So now another thing I can go right from that to our greenery. All right. So I can put cobalt right next to the sap. And then the citrus, I can add a little bit of white into the citrus. Cobalt into the sap. Since we had a, um, a blue rose, this makes it kind of nice. I don't want it to be a glare here. So I'm going to show you here. And I don't like you to paint up in the air. I'm just trying to get this here for you. So see the blue tones? See that blue? And then it gives you that nice warm look, all right? Now I can go down here and get um, an eight flat. And I can also take this and do all cobalt and then sap. So I'm working it into sap, picked up cobalt, work it in the sap. Okay, and so that's both colors on here really nicely. And then you pull the stems. All right, so even a couple on top of here maybe. 
Then one, two, three. See the triangle I made there? And four. So see, that's got all the blue tones with the leaf being blue. Makes a beautiful combination. All right. Now, what I want to show you also is taking, um, I want to use this. I, I could use a smaller brush, but this is what's really important. When you are loading 12 or smaller, the brush is size 12 or smaller. You can do both sides of the brush want the darker color or the white color if you're just making a little bit of gray tone on the edge. So I'm picking up all cobalt. This is an eight flat. And I'm going to come right here and side stroke the second color. All right. So you can go back and forth the first time. And then from then on, you're going to come here and side stroke. So what I want to show you is that I'm going to come right here, try not to be in the shadow, and get to a point and then come back. All right. So point and then lay the white on the outside. Now I'm going to come back here and side stroke again. All we need is white. We've got plenty of blue. Point. Come back. Now watch this. I push hard. Lots of pressure, I mean. Lift. Okay, I need more white. Pressure, lift to the white. Pressure, lift. Pressure, lift. And then I'm going to come back. Okay. So that is when I'm trying to get this one little flower. And I want to shade it, but double loading of two like this is very difficult. So I want you to see if I, I got to where I'm like, I don't want to teach small at all. But then I came up with, let's load it all with one color. And then let's side stroke the second color, which I should be over here because that's the new clean spot I made. All right. So then I can go as small as this. Oop, I'm shaking. I'm in the heat here. Let's see. All right, up under these lights get really hard. Okay, so a two flat will make like it's so small that you could do jewelry, but it also is easier, I mean, harder to load unless you do the side loading technique where it's all one color, even with the double loader, it's all one color side loaded with the second okay now also these make really nice leaves so i can just put let's say i put all lime green on this too and i can come all in here and add a few of these clusters of bright green leaves and i can pull the stem with those too all right Now keep on, I got more to teach you, so don't go away. I'd like you practicing and watching it over and over until you feel comfortable doing the strokes. Okay, now I can also come right in here with this two flat and get a longer stroke. See that, push and lift. So I've got citrus, I side load the sap green. This is not citrus, this is lime green, okay? Lime green, side load, the sap. Okay? And then just sap green, just dark green looks good in here sometime too, see that? Pressure, lift to the point pressure and lift to the point all right so you can get a long slender leaf with a two but and you can use a script liner at that point to put the stems if you want to all right so now this is what i want to share with you i'm going to come in here um, and pick up uh, let's pick up blue peacock and let's side load all right 
blue peacock I dipped over here. This is side loading going back and forth. Now I want you to watch how often I do this. Now this is a single stroke, so you should not need medium. All right. So let's come right here. And we want that light shade on the outside. And we want to come right here all the way to there. All right. I can come back here. Now watch when I'm coming back. I can push down, push down, push down, and stand up. All right. And now I'm going to put Violet Pansy here. And see, I just need to pick up the white. Okay, now look what happens. I, I'm going to come up here. Okay, now I'm going to, you shouldn't have a ridge there. So I'm going to go back and forth and get a nice blended, pick up by the pansy, nice blended outside color. Okay, let's do it again. Let's go right here. All the way up. And as I'm coming up on this side, oh, I did that wrong. Let me start here. I'm going to come down. I'm going to lay it down, lay it down, and roll. All right. So let's pick up more white. Here again, I'm side loading. I can put some more purple. I have a pansy and side load. Okay, let's see if we can do this, because see how I did, I lifted it up, so that's not quite as wide. All right, so look here. Up. Now I'm gonna slide down, put pressure, 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 and stand up. Let's see all those pretty colors. Now I can come back to the blue, blue peacock, and I can come right in here. Am I on? Back and forth. Because see, I, I want that nice smooth load. See, that was leaving ridges. So I had to come back, push down, push down, and roll. Okay. Just remember, I'm coming right here. I'm going to pick up blue peacock. Come right here. I'm going to come right in this area. All right, so I got too much white, so let me do it again. Just go right back over this, guys. And then as I'm coming back, flattening the brush, I'm going to lay it down, lay it down with pressure and stand up. Now, what happens with this guy? I'm going to wipe off my paper towel, wipe it off. I'm going to pick up some purple. Oops. Let's pick up white on the tip because I'm going to go into the yellow and I'm going to get violet pansy. Yellow and violet pansy makes green. So that's why you're adding more white to get a bright yellow. All right. So right on this wet on wet. I'm going to come up and bring that yellow down. Okay, now I can get a little bit more yellow because it's, it's, I don't want it green. And I can come up that side too. Okay, found that kind of pretty. All right, so then I can bring a little bit of yellow in here. I'm going to wipe the brush, and this is when we go back into, here's a sap, sap green, and lime green. All right, but then I can grab some white in the lime green, so we have some brightness in these leaves. All right, so look what happens here. Look at all those yummy colors. Blue peacock, violet pansy. Now I'm leading with the dark and letting that bright green make it bright, the lime. All right, so I'm going to come right here, and I'm going to go up, but I'm going to turn it around so it's easier for you all to see. Chisel, flat, chisel, flat, chisel, flat. 
right? So it's twisting in the wind. Do you see that? Now, because of the way I load it is why I've got this. Now, this is another trick that's kind of fun. I'm going to go back and forth. I've got this sap green. Well, let's put a little bit of white in here. All right. So I'm going to come up here. I don't want to be. I'm going to slide up, put pressure, slide, put pressure to here. And then what I want to see, want you to see is that whatever is at the top, so it's the light green, I'm going to fo uh, follow, come behind, and then flip over. And that gives you the light green that's underneath. Okay. Let me do that again. I want to show you that I came up, chisel, pressure. I'm not on. Let me come up. Sorry. Chisel, pressure, up, over. Now, I do need a little bit of medium because this is getting pasty. All right. So I'm going to come back up again, and then it goes smooth. See that really nice and smooth. All right. So let's come across the top like I told you. And then we're going to drop it. Let's see how that dark's underneath. You can't see my dark underneath. Probably because I needed to have some medium in there. So I can go in there and fix it. But I like doing it better when it's really nice and smooth. And you don't have to try to fix it later. Okay. All right. So the last thing I'm going to show you that has to do with how we're, how we're doing our, our slip slap or our corner where I'm working in little details. We did this a lot and it's sometimes I just do it in the background for prettiness, but I want you to see that I'm, I've got cobalt and white. Okay, so I double, I get both of those on my brush. And then what I'm doing is I'm going slip, slap, slip, slap. Let me go and do it down here on the end. All right. So let's just, I'm out of that. So I'll use blue peacock. All right. So it's not flat, flat. It's flip, flat. See my whole hands going back and forth. So this has given me some shading. And sometimes I leave spots where it's not solid on purpose. And so I need a little bit more here of white. So I'm moving slip, slap, slip, slap, slip, slap. Okay, now back, back, back. And it's not this, all right? And it's all different. Now I do like to do one where it is, we're gonna pick up both colors. All right, and I'm just using the corner. See the corner here? Now this is, watch this, where I'm sweeping. I'm sweeping like this, and that's to give me little areas. All right, I can also do it blue. Like if I'm putting some tree greenery or just a background finish I want. So see this, I'm taking and sweeping it like a wisp broom, back and forth, back and forth. And I can blend it in. And sometimes on the outside of hydrangeas, I will come right out here. And I will do little teeny bits on the outside edge. And, and uh, give you a little bit of a lighter touch. I also use a little bit of Q-tips lately to get that look. Where I'm tapping a cluster of five toothpicks. A to not toothpicks, Q-tips. <laughs> Sorry, Q-tips. And so you can look. I did some Q-tip art under practice strokes, so go check it out. See, just on the corner or slip sap. Okay, just like that. And that makes pretty backgrounds. And there's your study on blue, but it's mostly your study on doing side loading side loading wet on wet. All right. So thank you very much. And I'll see you next week.